Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. New Japan's G1 Climax is underway right now, the month long annual tournament that's usually responsible for half of everyone's Match of the Year candidates. And looking at the competitors, you can see why. Kazuchika Okada, Tatsuya Naito, Kota Ibushi, Hiroshi Tanahashi, the list goes on. But the real rivalry is turning out to be something quite different. Kenny Omega versus Jim Cornette. In response to Dave Meltzer's tweet about how Omega just set an attendance record, Cornette was V-triggered. I don't really care if Adolf Hitler was an amazingly talented painter, he should get no compliments. These F-words, Omega, Abushi, same thing. Usually if someone invokes Nazi Germany in an argument, they automatically lose. But in this case, that's still exactly what happened, with many wrestlers pointing out how over the top that comparison is. Cool online character, Jim. You're making us all angry all over again. Good heel heat. You're killing it. The Young Bucks sarcastically tweeted, Holy S-word, Omega and Ibushi had done well to keep their roles in genocide under wraps. Until now, what a c pointed out Jimmy Havoc, but the best came from Kenny Omega himself, rising above hate. I like you, Jim, but if you want to bury me, please don't tag me in it. We just started the G1 and I can't have this polluting my timeline. Thanks. Speaking of rising above hate, John Cena recently discussed his free agent status in WWE in an interview with Complex. Cena returned to WWE on the 4th of July episode of SmackDown after taking a brief hiatus following WrestleMania. Mania to focus on movie and television projects. But his comeback wasn't just to the blue brand. Building up to his return, Cena was advertised as a free agent, with his SmackDown contract expiring in storyline, meaning he's able to appear on both brands. While he's only showed up on SmackDown television so far, he has begun wrestling on Raw house shows, and there's speculation he's now facing Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 34. Although it dilutes the brand split concept, Cena's free agent status does make business sense for WWE. Both ratings and live attendance are significantly up when John is advertised. But according to his complex interview, being able to work both brands was actually his idea. The reason that I wanted to be a free agent and the reason they kind of granted my request is because I don't know if I'll be available for SmackDown specific only or Raw specific only. And I also know that my days are numbered. Cena points out he turned 40 in April and he doesn't know how many in-ring years he has left. He wants to use his remaining time to give as much back to WWE by working with younger talent, like most probably beating Rusev with patriotism in this Sunday's flag match at Battleground. Despite Cena's name draw and Philadelphia typically being a good wrestling market, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports there are many tickets left on sale for the pay-per-view. The Wells Fargo Center, where Battleground is taking place though, is larger than WWE's usual B-show venues, holding around 15,000 seats. What is the real story behind the WWE wanting CM Punk back rumours? And is Brock Lesnar leaving WWE? Click the videos to the left to find out more, press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.